Hey, what's up, dog? What's going on, bro? Everything good? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, chilling like a villain. Got to stay positive, you know. But whenever you stay positive, positive. Yeah, whatever, brother. (sighs) Sorry, I'm late, fellas. Yo, you good? I'm. I'm good. I'm ready to start the show. What, what about you, you guys? What do you want right now? Did you slip and fall on your noggin? I have no clue what he's talking about. Thanks, fellas. Welcome to the Misfit Nation podcast. But the, I mean, this this is the thing. I never I never like really disagreed with what he's saying this there. Delivery is trash, bro. It's the it music sounds like that we have a problem with. It sounds like fucking cat scratching a, a fucking chalkboard. No, he's bro. literally going like this. He googled all main topics, right? <laughs> and there's just little pinpoints, and he's just saying it on the mic, and then he's checking it off. <laughs> then this next one, and now I'm checking it off. <laughs> Another new yeah. fact, and now I'm checking it off. I heard this on Tucker, now I'm checking it off. <laughs> yeah, Trump said this, now I'm checking, checking it, it off. <laughs> yeah. Literally what G-shit. he's doing. Um, my my whole I I don't know where where these fucking retards that listen to Tom McDonald. I don't know what they listen to on our video. I we weren't even trashing Tom McDonald. First off, no. that was actually the first video we ever did that we weren't trashing. that we weren't trashing him. <laughs> yeah. Um, I simply made the point that he he's not a conservative, mm. right? Mm. And uh, I mean the fucking cock riding oh. that I was getting from people with with people with these on. <laughs> I should have wore this the whole time, right? Yeah, let them know what we're about, baby. People with these on, uh, calling me a leftist, mm. saying that I'm sucking off the government, and do, and saying everything that I've been saying for the past three years and getting canceled on fucking YouTube and shit. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Um, but yeah, like they're they're trying to make this point. First off, they they I I got forced to go down the Tom McDonald rabbit hole. Uh, no before, homo. I'm sorry. Before you get there, yeah, I just I just want to make it clear. Never sniffed top forty. Tom McDonald's uh, highest rated song on Billboard charts is number seventy one, and that's some bullshit he put out a year ago, and he hasn't moved since. So fuck out of here with that shit. You and we never and once feeling. even got on his music more than how he was trying to show off his music. He's a YouTube rapper. Point blank. Period. Sorry. That's what it is. That, oh, I don't, I don't YouTube, give a rapper? fuck about that part of it because he's do, he's he's successful. I'm not going to pull that from him. Um, but it's not me pulling it from him. No, you got to acknowledge it when I say something, it's the truth. No, no, I'm going to back you up on this. Okay. You remove YouTube from Tom McDonald, mm. that's, that's most of his visibility gone. Yes. So my point, the reason why I brought that up, and the reason why I'm I I, I was bringing basically the whole video up last week mm-hmm. or or the two weeks ago, um, is that Tom McDonald is not dealing with getting uh, suspended and canceled and removed and, and and from all these platforms, none of them. Right. I haven't heard one story. One story I heard was that he got his 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 uh, uh what is it called fake woke song or something pulled from Amazon but then he came out and said no it didn't get pulled it was some kind of clerical error or some shit Mm. and then it went right back up Mm. so he's not dealing with cancellations and I think that's very important if we're if we're talking about like this guy being sort of a a a fighter in this shit why is he not getting canceled if he if he's really so if he's so counterculture that he's 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 fucking up something or he's he's destroying the status quo or whatever the fuck they're trying to say he's doing Mm -hmm. why isn't he getting canceled i i think i think that he he's counterculture if you if if you put him in the culture of 1999 this is 
guy, this is white kid rapping with tats all over his face. Not that that's more that's more of a goddamn what is going on here. You put that shit in twenty uh sixteen, you mix it with some trash ass beats and some mediocre lyrics, and you get Tom McDonald. We've right? seen it a million times. Now, yeah, we've seen it a million times. But what he's talking about is different. I'm not mm-hmm. removing that yeah. at all. Mm-hmm. Um what I'm saying though is my argument was he doesn't go far enough. Mm-hmm. He doesn't make a stand enough. He does this fucking I'm gonna Surface. stay in the middle. Surface. I'm a moderate fucking bullshit, mm. and then he's getting all the all the clout for for being a guy that's taking a stand. How taking is he a stand even on being what? A called the fighter if he's not fighting anything? No one's fighting back. He he's saying in his songs, "This is why they're trying to cancel me." Who? If they were trying to cancel you, they would just cancel they would you. Just cancel you, yeah. We have a fucking tiny fraction of what he has, and we're getting canceled. We're getting fucked with. <laughs> Steven Crowder no, we're getting is getting suspended. canceled every fucking week. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are we talking about here? His it's, his his yeah. ideology in his music is not conservative. It's it's very much leftist. It's actually very Marxist if you break it down. And I'm gonna break it down in a minute mm. and show you. Mm. This guy is not what the fuck the conservatives think he is. And they're 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 putting him up as this guy. And and the reason why there's a problem is because the conservatives sit around and go, Oh, the leftists, all they only care about is Hollywood and this and that. But the second one fucking um, one celebrity says one little thing that sounds conservative. Now we're dick riding the guy, and we can't say one bad thing about him. Mm. What's the difference? There's no difference. What is the difference? No difference. Him the difference is they're not they're not calling to cancel us, and they're not reporting us, which I appreciate. Mm. But this horseshit where it's where it's now all of a sudden I'm a leftist and I'm I'm this bro. You don't know what the fuck I've dealt with. I got the fuck out of rap because I didn't want to want to sell out on my morals. And that's the only way you're making money in rap. Trust me on that Sorry, one. Bro. Yes. You have to. And, and and sorry, one last thing. The reason why I'm getting, I, I'm very passionate about this celebrity shit mm. is that this is what happens is they'll, the, the, it almost happened with Kanye, but um, they go, oh, this guy's, a, this guy's a, a, a conservative. He's going to represent us and he's this and that. And then the guy, the guy will turn around and go, oh, well, no, I'm not. Actually, I, I'm for transgenders in this. I was told he was actually protecting transgenders with his line. Because I was, I, here's here's where this leftist shit goes. Yeah. If it's not going conservative, it's always going to go left at some point. Mm. His fans were actually getting on us that we just wanted to, 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 to bash trannies. We just wanted to bash the transsexual community. Listen. And Tom McDonald, and I go, motherfucker. <laughs> Tom McDonald was bashing the trans community. I was just mad he didn't go far enough and he sold out on it. Mm. I was like, so what's your issue here? If we want to bash the trans community, we'll just bash them. We'll just bash them. The trans community. We do it all the time. (laughs) We do whatever the fuck we want. (laughs) Right. (laughs) But now you're telling me, oh, they go, oh, well, well, actually, he was trying to say that the people who pretend to be trans and this. So you're telling me there's people that are pretending to pretend to be something they're pretending to be. You know how crazy and, that and Tom sounds? McDonald's is actually he's protecting that. Ah. Right? Yeah. And then another thing, the guy the guy they they go, you gotta watch Tom McDonald's Fox News interview. And I watch it and it's it's complete horseshit. Wait, Tom McDonald <laughs> Tom McDonald gets ball washed by fucking Fox News and you can tell they're afraid. They had women interviewing him first. Oh wow. They didn't put on a real motherfucker like like Tucker or or Hannity mm-hmm. to really press this guy. Mm-hmm. Uh it's an edited interview. Um but he they go they say in the interview, Tom McDonald, he he said that Black Lives Matter is a valuable uh a valuable movement. And then they just move on mm. and continue with this. And, but this is why he's the conservative. But you can't wait, be, you can't no, be no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't, can't just, you can't just fucking flip on that mm. and say that there's no way as a conservative, a true conservative, you can go a communist Marxist group led by trained communists and Marxists uh, is a valuable movement in any way. Tell me how. Mm. And if you're going to sit in there and tell me that, oh, well, he's a moderate. He just sees the good and the good and bad and every, everything, right? <laughs> if you're gonna tell me that, then tell me what right wing extreme group do you also see valuable? If you're a moderate, because mm. you must see it on both sides, right? Right. right. 
Or so, are you are you really bullshitting everybody and you're really a leftist and you're trying to pretend because you saw the hot button issues and you saw that conservatives were fucking jerking off waiting for a celebrity to say something good and you and you took advantage of it. And you yeah. can take it from me uh-huh. because I saw the same exact avenue. I just lost passion for it and I didn't want to do it anymore. Mm-hmm. But I saw the same exact avenue right before he saw it and probably at the same time that he saw it. Mm-hmm. He's just not real. And this isn't me going, hey, listen to my album. I'm not doing rap. I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah, this isn't leading over. to an album. It's this over. isn't <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> Hip hop is a is a fucking bullshit, communist, goddamn fucking art form. And okay. there's no way that 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 conservatives are gonna are gonna take it over. But if I you really want to hear good music, go download eight hundred pound gorilla today. And then suck my dick. <laughs> 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 and then maybe I'll get some fucking goofy face tats and then uh, go develop a fucking drug habit so I can spend three years to get back to square one. Oh, Suck a dick. God damn. <laughs> hey, not for nothing. His conservative rants are pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I've just, I just been bottling this up. No, no you're I, good. <laughs> you're good. I, I, this is what happens uh, when you guys... You got to get out of the comments. Get out of the comments. <laughs> the comments is getting crazy. <laughs> I I I I'm I'm I I was disappointed because once you're arguing with some of these people, you you see that their point isn't changing, or anything that they're changing when they're when they're presented with other evidence. To the country. It all goes fucking left, eventually, and I mean that politically. Yeah, it all goes left. Yeah, because because then we're we're saying we're sitting here trying to go, Tom McDonald. He's he's teaching the people. He's opening their eyes to this. And I'm like, okay, let me talk to some Tom McDonald fans. And they all sound like woke left jackasses. Pretty much. Yes. So if you're sitting, the only person that I'll, that I'll tell you is the guy that called me a leftist prick. Because at least he went straight to you're sucking off the government. He just made a wrong judgment mm-hmm. on the wrong person. Mm-hmm. But at least he went fucking conservative with it. Mm-hmm. Unlike, you know, you're thinking that we're one of those people. Right. So I can respect that at least, but these people are there going like, "Oh well, it's it's about protecting the trans community and and Black Lives Matter is a valuable group." And what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to just real you. quick re- read uh, read us uh, a lyric. Is it from the McDonald? The McDonald? The McDonald? From the Tom McDonald? You sound like a Christian. Kid Rock on this song. That's a good. Okay, a this good is a song. Uh, now I was put on to this song by a, by a very loyal uh, viewer of the show, Counterintuitive. Okay. Who is somebody who I believe is a true conservative woman? Shout her. I I just see. I read that on her. I'm not the judgment of all. I'm just saying. You are the barometer of I'm the barometer politics. of funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're the barometer of everything, remember? The barometer of everything. The barometer of funny, the puppet master. You wear many hats, sir. Now, now her thing and her argument I couldn't even really, like, go at is she goes, listen, I, I like Tom McDonald because he gets me sort of hyped up to, you know, go and tell people about conservatism and this and that. And I'm like, all right, if that's what that's your thing and that's what it takes to get you hyped up to do it, go ahead. I'm not I'm not telling anybody to not listen to them. Right. Conservative anybody. Right. Um, I just said just be careful of where you direct people to go. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. If you're trying to direct people into conservatism, be careful where you direct them. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean by that, yeah, though, I right? Understand. Okay. I understand. So she tried. She told me to listen to the song "No Lives Matter" by him, um, but there was like a few lines where. Um, okay. so what was the lyric that caught your attention? There's a few. Okay. I'm just gonna read through it, but uh, I, I gotta get to the exact one. All right, and everything's so connected. Black Lives Matter got so aggressive. They're always aggressive. White folks who agree can't support the message. Why would they want to? You get what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Um, So he's saying that white people should support the message. It's yeah. just Black Lives Matter is a little too aggressive. Hmm, okay. Just Interesting. A, just, a, just, a, just a tad. Just, okay. 
We're, we're adding words there. But got so aggressive. All right. Both sides go into war because they don't respect it. Mm. Our Hold social. On. Cl- Sorry. What? This is a newer song? This, yeah, it came out of not too long ago. He's saying now Black Lives Matter got so aggressive? <laughs> oh, I see where you're going. This is way after the fuckery, <laughs> way after the murders, way after the looting, way not, after the burning. It's just a little Ooh. aggressive. It's just, he just didn't say a little. Aggressive. He just said got so aggressive. Got, got so aggressive. But it just got so aggressive. That's why they canceled. For when were they ever it. not? A, when were they ever a calm group? Why even a, even a non-aggressive Black Lives Matter? Why would white people want to support that? It's stupid. <laughs> why would Tom McDonald support that? Ah. Now you're asking the, the real question. So he's not a white guy? He is a white guy. So he doesn't support that? Well, I think he's he's speaking for other people, but I think that's what he feels he said, like. Black Lives Matter got so aggressive, white folks who agree can't support the message. I mean, that's not false. It's, it yeah. is very false. The white folks that agree are supporting the message openly. No, no, no. The yeah. white folks that I don't the, agree are the ones that aren't supporting them. I think them. he's using, maybe I'm giving them too much credit. I think he's using agree as in black lives matter, as in white folks, when they say all lives matter, they include black lives in that. So I think he's, I, I think maybe he's going, like he's trying to do a double entendre that way. Maybe I'm shooting them bail. All right, fair enough. Maybe I'm shooting, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go deeper in the lyrics with it. Our, Deep diving into Tom McDonald lyrics. All right, let's go, let's go down more. Our social climate from the global tension turned to total violence and a whole depression. We could unify and then all go against them. But we let them divide us with votes and elections. <laughs> all right, fuck this guy. <laughs> No, you, no, you fucking, you you fucking mental midget. That's not what it is. It's the left wing that completely destroyed every establishment in this country. And we continue. Um, let me see. Respectfully. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, here we go. And it's so confusing. Black Lives Matter is a valuable movement. But all all lives matter ain't racist or stupid. It's non-black humans who don't feel included. All co- <laughs> what? Nigga, <laughs> what? Well, that's where he catches people. He says he says three lines of horseshit, and then people and then you know people go, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, you're I right. It. it is non-black. People that are being left out now. They're the minority. So everything he says is good. Oh fuck! It's an it's it, it's um in it's clu- inclusivity rap. <laughs> let's include everybody. Yeah, let's just stay. It's it's let's stay on the fence. <laughs> on everything. Let's please everybody here. <laughs> let's not look like the spotlights on them. All colors fall under laws that govern the whole country, and we all suffer. We're all broke and nobody recovers until we accept that we're all brothers. Wait, did he just call himself and broke? He put himself under that? He broke? <laughs> he can't be a YouTube rapper and be broke. Well, well, all right. Now let's let's break this down. <laughs> sure. All colors fall under laws that govern the whole country. We all say. So is it the laws that are the problem? Why because, what are we suffering? Be, well, there's a part. Where he goes into how like we're being divided by yeah divided by race and religion segregated into teams you're a white supremacist if you're not I guess you're Antifa, but this is on the same level mm-hmm. when you break it down lyrically mm-hmm. of fucking John Lennon imagine all the people yeah that's what it feels imagine like imagine there's no religion. <laughs> So it's religion is the problem, or is it people that are going after certain religions that are the problem? That are the problem. Hmm. Yeah. Which one is the truth, people? It's people going after certain religions. Right. And protecting others. Religion itself is not the problem, mm. Tom. <laughs> Ripping Tom a, a new one on this one. <laughs> this is more directed at his fans because I know he'll never listen to this. Or 
acknowledge somebody saying something truthful sure, about I'm him. I'm sure he saw our video and blocked us immediately. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, you just mean, really, really mean. And then block us. <laughs> You're just really, really mean to me. This is, this, is, this is my final thing I'll say. Sure. I, I believe that Tom McDonald is not only not a conservative, I think he's actually either an anarchist or he's actually a Marxist. And he's a marketing genius. He's a fucking genius. I'm not taking yeah. I'm not taking any of that away from him. Right, right, right. He's made way more hits than than me. I, I I'll never make as That's much it. money from it as him from music. But he damn don't give sure a fuck. Ain't a conservative. I'm just making that point. Gotcha. Yeah. And I think he's also a either an anarchist or he's a Marxist. Or a Marxist. Yes. Gotcha. Judging by what he says and judging by um his music. Mm. He doesn't believe in in the government. Um he's the, he's playing the fence with this I'm not either side. Oh, the last thing I'll say too. He was he was questioned on the the Trump thing cuz he did a video wearing the MAGA hat. Mm. And they go, "Are you a Trump supporter?" And that's where like if you're going to play that and you're going to put that on, that's where you it, even if you're not a Trump supporter, have the balls and go, "Yeah, I'm a Trump supporter." Mm-hmm. Because you're already playing into yeah, that. Yeah, you already wore the hat. His answer goes, "I'm not. I'm not pro-Trump. I'm not anti-Trump." Uh, and it's this middle uh, ground it's the shit. Middle ground shit. Yeah. So if anybody's that's sitting there going, "Oh, oh, I'm a Trump supporter," and he stands for this, and that, that was his chance to stand for Trump supporters, and he fucking let us down. Mm. He already did that like two years ago. Mm. So I mean, unless he was being pussy back then, and he really is a Trump supporter. Or he's really not a Trump supporter, which I don't think he is. I don't think he believes in government. I don't think, I think he think votes. He, yeah. I don't think he believes it. I think he wants to see it all burn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's Joker. He's a nine to five conservative. Yeah. 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 Joker. Great fucking comparison. He's Joker. Great comparison. So Tom McDonald yeah. fans suck my dick. Oh, oh from the back. Fuck off. <laughs> you fuck fucking you. fuck you assholes. You horrible uh, uh, putzes. Judges of character, <laughs> just wait another year and you'll be all let down and you'll be like, damn, that fucking uh, cracker was <laughs> talking the truth on YouTube. I should have listened to him. <laughs> hey, cracker. this is I got the same feeling when uh, we got backlash on on Kim Klasik. Mm. I had no fu- I was I didn't give a fuck about that. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel like we did anything wrong on that. Right. And same deal on this. I got yeah. we got backlash. I still feel like yeah, I'm we, right. We, we did nothing wrong with that on that video. Yeah, yeah. We did nothing. We but, didn't bash him, bro. Like you said in the beginning. We, we did nothing but him. empower Kim Clasic. All that wagon. And what did she? Am- see, I was at, trying to stay away from it. And wonder at the end of it, what did she amount to? Twelve percent of nothing. Nothing but her wagon. Actually. Butt wagon. <laughs> A butt wagon. Butt wagon. <laughs> <laughs> butt wagon. Nothing but wagon. Oh, shit. <laughs> but butt wagon. <laughs> If you want to listen to the full audio version of our show, go over to Apple Podcasts or Podbean. That's misfitnation.podbean.com.